Hey there, everybody. Kirk Nelson with the Pixel Pro here. Greetings and salutations. In this video in the series of CS6 First Look, I'm going to talk about one of the most highly anticipated small features in Photoshop, and that is the dotted lines. Now, technically, they're not called dotted lines because they're named by a Photoshop engineer, so I think the actual official name would be dashed strokes, and they're folded into a subset of the fill and stroke attributes for the new shape layers in Photoshop CS6. Now, who would refer to this as dashed strokes as opposed to dotted lines? The same people who would call the text tool the horizontal type tool, or the square selection tool the rectangular marquee tool. I guess really we should be happy that the move tool is the move tool and not the content relocation apparatus or something like that. Anyway, I digress. So why are dotted lines in Photoshop such a big deal? I mean, this program has been around for almost 20 years. I'm sorry, I make that over 20 years, and we just now get a dotted lines command? What's up with that? Well, you could do dotted lines before, the previous to CS6, back you know in the old days of CS5, but it was quite a tedious process. First you had to create a blank layer, then you had to draw a path with the pen tool, then you had to set up a customized brush with increased spacing, and you had to stroke the path with the brush, and if that didn't create a dotted line like you wanted it, you pretty much had to smack your head on the keyboard, erase the whole thing, and start over. It wasn't a live effect, it was rasterized in pixels, and it really wasn't great. But CS6 has changed all that. Let's take a look. All right, so first of all, these dash lines are only available on shape layers. So that means you either have to create a custom shape, or, well, really any of the shape tools here, or you have to draw it with the pen tool. So chances are um, you're not going to want to use the pen tool. The pen tool is great. It's really good, and I'll deal with that in another video. But if you're a, a beginner at Photoshop, and unless you come from an Illustrator background, in which case you would really use Illustrator to do your dotted line work anyway. But if you're coming from that, then you'll be comfortable with the pen tool. Otherwise, everybody else, mere mortals, let's use a regular shape tool. So here we have an ellipse. Yes, it's an ellipse. It's not a circle or an oval. It's an ellipse, right? Okay. Now, if we look up here, we get these new properties that are new to CS6. We've got a fill property here. Now, this is different from the fill that you see over in the layer styles. This is an actual, like, a fill layer. You can pick your colors and everything. Well, I don't like any of these colors. Okay, fine, you can pick this color here. Incidentally, if you're wanting to use the eyedropper to create the fill, you gotta click this little multi-colored thumbnail to get the, the color picker up. But again, now, Let's go over to this little stroke property. Look at this. Same idea. We can now adjust the stroke. You can barely even see that. Let's crank that up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's just a stroke. Yay! We can always do a stroke. Well, it's a live stroke on this, and this creates really a, a nicely done effect as opposed to the, the layer style one. And look at here, under stroke options, we've got dotted lines. Isn't that cool? Look how easy that was. And look how easy it is to change. Isn't that amazing? Some fun little options with it here too. Look at this, okay. We can adjust the alignment as to inside, center, or outside. The caps, we can round or we can butt or square them. So if you want to go from, you know, dashes to dots and back again, the corners, this is actually a pretty neat one. It doesn't work so much on the ellipse. You'd need a, a harder edge one, but it just shows how you want those edges to meet together. And this is a great little widget here because you can control the size of the dashes and the gaps. For instance, if we have a, um, a gap here of two and do, let's say, another dash at one and then a gap of five. So you can create your own customized dashed or dotted work here within the stroke options. Now, 
this is all really good, but you may be wondering, what if I just want a line? You said dotted lines. This is a this is a shape with the outline. I just want a line. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Here we go. Pen tool. Make sure the pen tool is set to shape, not path or pixels. Shape. You got that? Okay. I'm gonna set the fill to nothing. I'm gonna put my stroke. You know, let's use a red one this time. All right, and just use my regular little dashed line. Now, behold, as I create a dashed line with the pen tool. Isn't that fun? And what's great is it's a live effect. If we want to go in and move one of these points around, look, it moves along with it. So, I know it's been a long time coming, but look at this. We finally have dotted and dashed lines in Photoshop. It's shiny. Thank you, Adobe.